everybody. Welcome back to Donna's DreamWorks Paper Dreamer 1 here on YouTube. And I just stopped in uh, to explain a little bit about why I haven't been on. But I think if you listen to me talking, you can probably understand why I haven't been on. I think it was almost a week ago, at least a week ago, that I had planned to come back the following Monday and begin some crafting. Uh, but that I wasn't feeling too well. Well, let me tell you, uh, I'm still not over it. I'm still not 100%, but I am probably a good 90% now. This has been a very long and tiring siege. It was not the flu, but it was a major head cold, um, almost like a bronchitis, um, and it just was not possible for for me one to talk on a on a videotape but also I had no energy to craft um, and I just didn't feel like it and, and I would sleep 18 hours a day so it has been a tough couple of weeks it's really been since oh the day before New Year's Eve that I started with this so we're a good two weeks this is this would be two weeks from New Year's Eve today and I think we're actually, and I say we, because after 53 years, I share everything. And so I shared it with my husband. Fortunately, he did not um, get it as bad as I did. And so I'm grateful for that. But neither one of us are up to par. And so let me tell you exactly when I say that, um, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be looking today, and my mind is not quite ready, but I'm going to continue to try to find you on this camera. Um, went to, let me tell you how uncrafty I am right now. I went to Walmart yesterday uh, to get a couple of things that I needed, and I had to go from one end of the store to the other. Don't we always have to go from one end of that store to the other? And in order to do that, I had to go past the area where um, they have the deco mesh and the other things, for wreaths and stuff. Now, I did not see much in, of anything in the way of flowers. I, I didn't go looking for them. But I went by this uh, deco mesh area, and there was a, a roll of deco mesh in there that was almost like a baby blue with little white puffs in it, almost like little snowballs. <coughs> And, excuse me, and I will do that more than once. And to tell you just how bad I did feel, I, um, I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh, to tell you just how bad I really felt, I looked at it and I said, oh, isn't that pretty? And then just kept walking right on by. No, we never walk by good mesh, pretty mesh. There's something different that you haven't seen before. So... Uh, needless to say, I didn't pick it up and I haven't done any crafting. I did uh, decide pretty much today what I'm going to do for my first project. Uh, in my living room, I have my snowman wreath on the wall and I'll insert a picture if I can find one here. Um, and I love it. It fits up in the wall very nicely. It uh, fills up the space, and but it's time to take down a snowman wreath. So what I wanted to find was something that I could make a wreath out of that is more universal, that can be kept up there, and maybe um, change out some of the additions to it, either the flowers or um, sign or something like that. So I, I went on to Craft Outlet today, and I found this 10-inch um, mesh in, uh, gosh, burlap burlap mesh thank you very much but it's the one with the frayed edges so I ordered two rolls of that and I'm going to make the 30 inch ruffles and make a, a burlap wreath with the frayed looking edges and then uh, a nice big bow probably a funky bow uh, and some different color ribbons in it and then I will probably put something uh, sign on it and it might be something that it can change out whether or it might be a sign that just stands for family or something like that that can stay there um, 
so anyway, that's going to be my first four -way, foray into crafting. It's been a, a long dry spell here, and so I've got to get back into it. Um, a couple of people asked me why I have two different names. My blog, which I have not kept up as of late, primarily because I don't like blogger any longer, and I need to restart actually my blog and I'm going to be using probably WordPress when I do that and that is one of my goals for this year. Um, I have one more year on the board which keeps me extraordinarily busy and so it's difficult to get all of this other stuff done but I will um, endeavor to get that blog changed over to WordPress but at any rate when I started my blog um, I named it Donna's DreamWorks and I've had it for quite a while and had it for quite a while. And it was really a crafting blog. And then I started putting videos on YouTube and I did not realize to use the same name and I should have. And so now in order to change your name on YouTube, so if I wanted to change my name from Paper Dreamer 1 and go back to uh, Donna's DreamWorks, you have to run through six hoops, and uh, one of them is is a flame hoop. So I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to do that at this point in time. So we'll just get used to the fact that I have two names. So uh, also known as, we'll say, AKA. Um, but the reason I started as Paper Dreamer 1 is if you look back at my old videos, you'll see that my initial foray, in, foray into uh, YouTube was in paper crafts. And I did a lot of paper crafts and I did craft shows with paper crafts. And so uh, hence I had Paper Dreamer 1. And so it was cards and uh, mini albums and any kind of all kinds of um, things that you make with paper i still do things that with paper but i've been doing more with the wreaths lately and but i think if you're a crafter you craft every time you can think of something and and i'm just sitting here under a shelf actually that has some of my um collection of stuff stuff on it. A lot of my things were made specifically like wedding albums and so on and so forth, but I would find something I occasionally wanted to just make something out of. Um, for instance, <laughs> here we have my Pringles box. And it's on little feet, see? Yeah, cute. And it opens, and when it opens, right now, I don't know what's in there. We'll find out. Oh, there's some beads. So that's one thing. And uh, the latest album I did was just, I found this cute little paper stack. And, and this was the pictures on it. I have to be awesome. So I this is a really cute photo album for, um, I'm thinking maybe prom, and see the girls on the back, the lighting is not, there you go, these are my walking shoes, do you remember when we had shoes like that, oh my gosh, so it's, it, you know, and there is a, there is a video uh, on my channel where I walk you through, actually I make that with you on, on the channel, so, um, I will be doing some more paper crafts. Uh, I do like making cards, and so I'll be doing some more of that, um, along with the wreaths and the decorating. Um, I have about eight or nine, well, no, I don't think eight or nine, probably five to six projects to do for decorating for myself. Um, I don't have, as we've mentioned before, a very big house, so I can't do a whole lot of fancy net decorating and like Arlen over at Cozy Craft Corner, I can't do country uh, corners, cozy corners and things like that. I just don't have the extra room. But anyway, it's fun to decorate and I do have some lanterns and I need to make some lantern swags and, and, and get back into that. 
So we'll be fine. As soon as my order comes in from Craft Outlet, we'll get started on the other. I might get on YouTube ahead of time and just do a little something something if I'm waiting for that order to get here. Um, they're usually pretty good. And the order will go in today. I haven't quite finished it, so it will go in today. Um, I've been crafting probably most or all of my adult life. I think probably it started in school. And in school, when I went to school, we had um, home ec. Isn't that a joy? And, of course, they don't do that now that I know of. And so we had sewing and we had cooking. And I, I remember the very first thing I made with the sewing machine was an apron and then used it in the cooking part. And I think that's something that's unfortunate that with all of the changes in our school systems that some of these classes have been lost and the kids don't get that exposure any longer. Um, we don't need recipe books necessarily, although there are a lot of, I had stacks of them, but of course nowadays you just go online and say, I'd like to see a recipe for, you know, and there it is. Um, but I, that started me with the creative, I guess. And I did sew and I did sew a lot. Uh, I did sew gowns and, um, you know, dresses, and I made, we were square dancers, I made all of my own square dance clothes. Oh, now, the problem was, I had two boys, and I hated tailoring, so I never made them any clothes. I did knit them things, which, of course, they didn't want to wear, because they were knit. They wanted something from, I mean, they, they were handmade. And they wanted something from the store, like the rest of the kids had, so. Um, but, Yes, sewing, knitting, crocheting, all part of my history. Um, how many of you remember Tri-Kim Liquid Embroidery? Um, that was a big rage back when I was a young married. And I had the big round box, you know, like an oval shaped box with all the holes in it where you put your tubes of paint upside down. So, of course, they'd stay uh, to the tip. And what it was, was uh, you would go to these house parties and they would sell the different paints and there's always, and then they would have different stamped items. Like they could be pillowcases, they could be chair back, little cushion things, they could be towels, dish towels, hand towels, decorative, things like that. Uh, and they were all stamped with lovely pictures. Um, could be florals, could be uh, jig. Uh, graphic type of things uh, and what you did is you painted them it was sort of a paint by number but it was done with this paint that was in a tube and had like a little round ball tip and you would put the items in a, a, um, a hoop just as if you were going to embroider it and then use your paints to paint the items and once they were painted they were very much washable and everything and they really came out nice and it was really pretty but that was um, one thing that we did as young Marys and we had and, and it got so that we had probably about 10 people who would go different months to different somebody's house and you know the same thing you'd bring um, a, a dessert to share and bring your liquid embroidery and we'd all sit around and chat and uh, make whatever project we were making and uh, and share the evening with each other or the afternoon. So that was a fun time, and that was something. It, it kind of, I guess, faded away into oblivion. I don't know whatever happened to it. Um, <coughs> so that one was, oh, gosh, <laughs> that's a long time ago. I would say probably 40-something years ago that we had the Tri-Kim Liquid Embroidery. Um so we had that, and then uh, I did some jewelry making for a while, and I still have all of the equipment to make the jewelry. But, you know, sometimes I guess it's because I'm a Gemini, and I like to do about six things at once, but I, I move on to another subject 
you know, I, or I find a different craft I want to try, I have to try this. And so I will start on something or like a paper craft and then move on to my wreaths and my decorating and whatever. And then I'll go back to the paper craft and then I'll go back to the wreaths. And it's, it's just kind of fun to, to go back and forth to the different crafts. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, this has been a miracle that I could sit and talk to you this long. Um, it's not been a fun time and I am very happy that I'm on the upside of it now. I only had one nap today. Normally I would have two. So there's your, there you go. There's already a, a plus. So I will be back as soon as I can. And I won't say a particular day. Uh, I might stop back just for another chat or one of these days I'm going to try one of those car chats. Uh, I'm not a very good proponent of any kind of distracted driving. It's hard enough driving, especially in Florida in season when you have a lot of uh, snowbirds here who are not familiar with the roads and so on. So I, I don't like to be distracted, but I do want to go up to Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to go this week, though, because this is not their ribbon week. Last week was their ribbon week, and I wasn't going anywhere. But anyway, I'll take you. Oh, I did get material. I think I did mention I got some material. Oh, I've got some right here. Hold on, and I'll get it. I think I mentioned that I have two recliner chairs that the backs are splitting. And I wanted to make some kind of little blanket area to go over it. So I did find this material. It's really pretty. It has the reds and the yellows. And so I have that. And then the back of it is just the solid green. So you can see if I can get the two of them together. And then it has the quilting, the batting in between. And it's only a yard of e a yard of each. So they're not big um, pieces, big blankets. They're small, but they fit over the back of the chair. I have one that's three quarters done. You know, you make it, sew it around three quarters of the way and then fold it. I mean, uh, turn it inside out so that it, the right side is up and everything. Um, and I have that much of it done. And then I uh, had kind of a down time, and I just couldn't, I didn't have the energy to finish it. So I have to finish those. So maybe I'll take you on a little bit of that when I'm doing it. I'm planning, I think, to put some elastic from the front to the back. They don't really meet, but if I put elastic from front to back on them, I can probably put them down over the edge. Oh, here's the camera. Down over the edge of the top of the chair and just hide that area because it's really lousy looking and so we'll go from there so that's what I will do first while I'm waiting for my uh, order to come in from craft outlet so we'll be back um, I just wanted to say hi I've picked up oh gosh uh, quite a few new uh, subscribers even in the last two weeks that I haven't been feeling well so I do appreciate it every time I get a new subscriber it makes me feel a little better and so we'll get back together and start some projects. If there's anything, I, I, I do all kinds of stuff. You know, this is, this is what a crafter does. Um, if you see anything that you like in particular or would like to see done, uh, leave a comment and we'll get together and, and try it out. So I'll talk with you later. I hope everybody has, this is Sunday, and I'm going to try to get this up on Sunday. So you'll see it the same day I'm recording it. So I hope everybody has a great rest of the day. My Patriots won last night. Yay, yay. Um, and today, I guess, uh, Pittsburgh, what last I saw, was not doing too well against Jacksonville, which is a surprise, actually. So time will tell. And uh, we're almost to the Super Bowl. And, and it... I have numbers in my paper, and I think it was 35 a couple of days ago. So I, I'm not sure when I saw the number 35, but 
in my paper it tells me when spring season starts and so it starts in about 35 days and we live not too far from where the Red Sox um, uh, have their spring training uh, uh, my husband usually goes to one of the games. I don't usually go, um, but they'll all be here shortly. And we know when it happens, when spring training um, starts, it means that spring is not too far away for the rest of the country. I feel so bad for you all that with the cold, cold air. I have one son in Massachusetts. It was 11 today. It was 60 yesterday and 11 today. Go figure. And the other son is in Ohio, and I think he was 15. So <laughs> now this morning it was only 40 here with a wind chill factor to about 33. So it was cold, and I don't care where you live. It's still cold at that temperature, but nothing like the rest of you guys are having, and I feel so bad for you. So anyway, I'll get back with you. We'll talk again. Nice seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great afternoon. See you later. Play nice now. Well, as you can see, I'm back again. And I did get all the ribbons put on and the snowman. I was a little bit afraid that I wouldn't get this movie figured out. So I went ahead and finished the wreath so I could put it up on my wall. And as you can see, it sits there nicely and fills up a good portion of the wall. So I'm really, really pleased with the way this came out. And now I'm on to the next project. And I think I've actually figured out how to use the iMovie program. So that's what I'm going to plan to put this up with. Uh, I will get it up as soon as possible. And we'll be back again shortly for the next video. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.